I'm Anil Kumar. We'll further explore factorials and permutations. The question here is, solve for n, where n is a whole number. 7p n3 equals 6p n plus 1, 3. We need to find the value of n, right? As you know, p n r is equals to n factorial by n minus r factorial, correct? We'll use this formula to find the value of n in this particular equation, which involves permutations, right? Now, here we have 7. P n3 means what? n factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial, correct? Equal to 6 times n plus 1 factorial divided by 3 factorial. I mean, sorry, n plus 1 minus 3. n plus 1 minus 3 factorial, correct? n minus r factorial. Now, let's expand n factorial. We get 7 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3. Since we have n minus 3 factorial in the denominator, we'll stop here. Right? And we'll write n minus 3 factorial. They will cancel out. Now on the right side, we can write this as 6 times n plus 1 times n plus 1 minus 1 will give us n. And then we have n minus 1. Well, before going further, let me write down what is the denominator. n plus 1 minus 3 means n minus 2 factorial, correct? So we'll go one more step. We have n minus 2, and then we'll write this as a factorial, correct? So that is how we could write. And now we can cancel the common terms from numerator and denominator. So that simplifies a bit. We have 7 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 equal to 6 times n plus 1 times n times n minus 1. Perfect. Now, n minus 1, n minus 1 cancels, n and n cancels. So we are left with 7 times n minus 2 equal to 6 times n plus 1 which is 7n minus 14 equals to 6n plus 6. Uh, let's take it to the right side. Let me use this space now. Okay, so we'll just take it further here. So 7n will break 6n to the left side. So let me change the ink also. 7n minus 6n, we'll take it on this side, 14 on the other side, equals to 6 plus 14 and 7 minus 6 is 1, so n equals to 6 plus 14, which is 20, correct? So we get a value of n as 20 in this particular case, and that's our answer. So the answer is n equals to 20, okay? So that is how you could actually solve such questions. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to share and subscribe my videos. Thank you, and all the best. Thank <laughs> you.